What is up guys, welcome back to another video. I'm glad that you decided to watch this video because to be honest, I don't think it's that good for the first couple of days. Only because like the first couple of days is just me getting wood and like doing the really basic things in Minecraft. So I really think this this uh, series has a lot of potential. Like maybe when I hit like the 50 day mark when I actually like do things that are interesting. But the first couple of days just aren't that interesting. I'm just putting that out there. So. What you're about to watch is a video that I've been working on for a little while. These take a while to make because I have to play the game and then I have to comment, like, commentary them after I play the game. And it's just kind of difficult. So all that I ask is just watch the whole video and just give me your honest opinion. I don't care if you hate it. If you hate it, just tell me in the comments. This is so boring. Like, I don't like this. I want your honest opinion. Because if you guys like this, then I will continue the series. But if you guys don't want me to continue it, then I won't do it. So yeah, enjoy the video. What is up guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be doing a different type of video. I don't think I've ever done like a Minecraft kind of playthrough series, but this is my first attempt at it. So today I'm going to be trying Hardcore Minecraft Out. It's pretty much where if you die, your world gets deleted forever. No matter how long you've spent on like all your builds, all your farms and everything, it's all gone. So I'm just going to try to see if I can make it through 100 days without dying, without dying. And yeah, this is my very first attempt in Minecraft Hardcore. This was also inspired by Luke the Notable. I'll put his channel in the description. So as you just saw right there, we saw some iron at the spawn, so I was pretty lucky. I'm gonna be getting tons of wood because, you know, that's what you always gotta do when you first start off. All right, it is currently day one, and I just made my first wooden pickaxe of the whole series, and we're gonna go get some stone over here so we can make ourselves a stone pickaxe and then grab the iron. After mining for a bit, I got a little bit of coal and some iron, and I decided to make myself a full um, a full stone set, so I made myself the pickaxe, the axe, and the sword, and also the shovel. I went to go chop down some more trees, and when it came back, my iron was done smelting. So I picked up my furnace, and I decided to craft an iron pickaxe. I also decided to make some armor, so I went with the chest plate. I killed a bunch of animals. I decided that my goal for day one was to at least get a house done, so I began building. It was pretty ugly because I used spruce for every single block, but you know, we all gotta start somewhere. I also didn't have any glass yet, so I just used planks to fill in the, the windows before I could get glass. I then went outside and started planting all the saplings that I have gathered from tree chopping from before. Time flew by, and before I knew it, it was already dark, so I crafted torches from the coal I had left over, and I started placing torches around my house. There was a skeleton freaking following me, so I decided it was probably better if I just stayed inside my house, blocked it up, and just waited the night out. It was day two and it was finally light outside. Today I decided my goals were to get some fish, and also to mine a lot. I killed a lot of fish. The rest of the day I decided to build like a little mine right next to my house so that I can go down and get ores whenever I needed to. And yeah, the rest of the day was pretty much just me gathering up coal and iron. I went home, crafted a furnace, and then I cooked up all the fish that I caught from earlier today. Alright, it is day 3 and my goal today was to get a bed and maybe start a farm. So first I crafted up myself a full iron set from the iron I made yesterday, and then I went out to go look for a sheep. I spotted a sheep almost right away and I went straight to go kill it. Then I started working on the farm, and I also made some improvements to the house. It was day 4 and I walked outside and I saw this chode tree right outside of my house so I decided to go chop it down. Later when I went mining that day, two creepers pulled up on me and I thought I was already gonna die and it was only day 4, but thankfully they didn't really hurt me that much. Then I found this sick ravine and all I did for the next couple of days was just go mining and look for a bunch of ores. There was tons of coal everywhere inside the ravine and there was even some lapis and also a mine shaft so I guess I found the gold mine. I also ended up finding my first patch of diamonds. It was only a three vein, but it's okay, because I found an eight right after that. I started smelting up the iron and gold I got from my mining trip, and I also got some diamonds and lapis, so I think that mine trip went pretty well, but I also mined for a pretty long time. Day seven, and I completely forgot about my meat farm, so I went to go harvest it. I also went and got tons of birch and turned most of it into planks. I decided today I was going to start building a brand new house, because my old house just... It wasn't cutting it for me anymore, so I started digging out an area and also started laying down some planks for where the foundations were going to be. I finally finished up my foundation and it was already dark. 
So I looked back and I think it looked pretty good. So then I just ran back to my house before any zombies or any skeletons could come kill me. Day 8 was just tree chopping. It went well into day 9. While I was chopping down some wood, I saw these dudes next to my house and I was so confused and they looked scary so I just ran away. I went to go check if they were there later and they were still there so I didn't know what to do. I just ran inside my house and just shut the door. It was day 10 and I was pretty excited that I made it this far. I built a little house and a farm and also started work on my second house. And yeah, a lot of, a lot of you guys could probably do a lot better than me, but I was pretty proud of what I had done so far. I started to work on the house even more. I also nearly died from taking so much fall damage from jumping off all these pillars. Building the house took a really long time. It took me many days and nights and I even had to build through rain. On day 14, I was bored of building my house, so I came back home and I saw that all my wheat was ready, so I went in and harvested that. It was day 15 and I decided to adventure a little bit, and I came across a village in like, literally a minute. Like, that's the village, and back there is where my base is, like, it's super close, so that was pretty lucky. I went inside the village and robbed them of all of their belongings. I also brought some sheep and cows with me on the way back home. The next day, I built a little fence area where I could keep them. I lured them in, and there was a skeleton with an enchanted bow following me, and it was really scary, because he hit one of my cows, but it's all chill, because he died. I bred two of the cows, and got an achievement. I also forgot that I had the diamond pickaxe for this long, so I decided to actually get obsidian. I also created my nether portal that day as well. And I also made an enchantment table with the diamonds and obsidian that I had. Alright, that's it for this preview. So if you liked what you see right there, just tell me in the comments. Tell me to like continue the series. And first of all, I just want to say thank you for actually watching the whole video if you're here. So yeah, you get a thumbs up from me. So yeah, just if you guys liked it, tell me in the comments. If you didn't like it, if you think it was boring, just tell me in the comments. So yeah, I appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hey, that, turn the shit up.